Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the group exhibit, Hydrogen Fuel Cells. And this year we are adding battery, batteries to the mix. We are here at Hanover Fair in the year of 2014. We are celebrating our 20th year anniversary. And for that, this year we have 158 exhibitors from 22 different countries. My name is Mona Lee and I'll be giving the interview now about the topic fuel cell systems, one kilowatt up to five kilowatt, and also we'll be discussing lithium batteries. For that, please welcome with me on stage Mr. George Kaplanis, Director of Hydrogen Technologies from Tropical from Greece. Hello. Hey. Hello. Please have a th seat and thank you. Thank you. Now, let's get started with the first question, which is always a little introduction on your company. Can you please tell us a little bit about the history and the company development? Tropical established back in 1991. Um, it, ha it has actually three departments. Uh, first department is on AC units and refrigeration units. The second department is on fuel cell systems, hydrogen technologies as we call it, uh, renewable energy sources as well as lithium batteries. And the third department which is actually our uh, research and development uh, department uh, that's mainly our departments and regarding like uh, after sales servicing uh, this is a, a we call it a department but actually it's a part of the hydrogen and fuel cell technologies okay, okay? now I do have to ask this one question so okay. this name tropical is really exotic does it have something to do <laughs> with uh, with the headquarter in Greece uh, actually, more or less, yes. What happened is like when the company started back in 1991, the only department available was the AC and AC air conditioning units and refrigeration units. So the name Tropical was for those units. Uh, we didn't want to to stop the, that brand name, so we continued with that brand name also on hydrogen fuel cells and uh, on R&D department. That is interesting. Okay. Um, before I will ask my next question, mm. I would like to say that this is a public forum, so you are invited at any time to ask questions. For, the, for that, you can just easily raise your hand, and then I'll come down to you. Okay. So now, what kind of products did you bring with you to the fair? Uh, on our booth, we have the one kilowatt system, which is actually called TB1000. It's from the TB series hydrogen fuel cell systems, which are operated mainly with pure hydrogen. These systems can go up to 5 kilowatt. Under certain circumstances, we can go up to 10 kilowatt, depending on our customer needs. Uh, those systems uh, are finalized. Obviously, each year we are upgrading a few things. Uh, this year we brought as the portable system plus uh, a system that was specially designed for universities and research institutes, which is actually a transparent box explaining, showing actually all the subcomponents and the peripherals that they are using inside the TB series fuel cell system. Oh, I see. For what type of application does, does your or one of your systems operate? Depending on the power output and, the, on, and on the type of uh, fuel cell stack that we are using, uh, they can start from backup power or UP, like UPS and it can go for stationary application for homes like small businesses or if we parallel some systems and we can reach uh, power, uh, power up to 100 kilowatts so then we are talking like for large business. Okay. When I was visiting your booth mm -hmm. I realized that you also have systems operating with natural gas. Yep. That's actually the second type of uh, fuel cell systems that we have. It's actually the fuel cell systems that use reformate hydrogen, which is uh, taken from uh, hydrocarbons like natural gas, biogas, LPG, propane, uh, and in uh, some circumstances, methanol. Okay. So we have, like again, two types of systems, the 1 kilowatt and the 5 kilowatt, based again on low temperature PEM fuel cell stacks. Okay. Uh, on th the difference with the other stacks is that you can find available like uh, hydrocarbons like LPG or natural gas on the market and of course you can use them as micro CHP units, combined Hine power units, okay. which is like the trend at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Exactly. Um, also, recently, I have received a message that there has been an, an, a change in Tropical. There has been an investment uh, made in Tropical. Uh, the last couple of months, the, we have uh, we have an investor in our company. Actually, he took a, he took a part of our shares from Tropical. Uh, so now we are looking actually to like like we are planning the new Tropical, as we call it, which. We are going to be like more aggressive on the next couple of years regarding the marketing and sales. Okay. Okay. That's why actually we we are looking now for dealers uh, around Europe, and we have already like closed the, a dealership in uh, in uh, Germany. Oh, that, that's great for Tropical. Is is that investment due to the fuel cell system? Uh, basically, yeah. the The investment was made like for fuel cell systems uh, because. Uh, the investor believe that in the next, in the following years, there will be uh, a big market on on fuel cell technologies. I, I believe everybody's uh, believing in that big ma marking mm -hmm. market. Now, what steps has Tropical already done, and what is the current process? Sorry. Uh, what steps has Tropical already done, and what is the current process? So now, as I told you, we have actually actually these two, two type of uh, systems, the hydrogen one and the reformate systems. Uh, we keep on upgrading a few things regarding the software of our of our systems. Uh, moreover, through different R and D projects that we have done so far, and we're still. Uh, doing, uh, we are increasing the efficiency as well as the performance of those systems, uh, and our scope is actually to minimize the the final cost. Okay, so is that also what uh, is distinguishing Tropical from other competitors? Uh, I believe that's the main point. Like we are a very flexible company, small. Uh, we most of thing <coughs> most of the things we are manufacturing is the uh, is taking place on our on our premises. Uh, now we have a, a new manufacturing uh, plant that is just outside from Athens, close to the new international airport, and we are having a small small production facility. I see. So this year is the 20th anniversary of the group exhibit. Mm -hmm. um, this year we are also, besides uh, the f hydrogen and fuel cells, we are adding batteries to mm -hmm. our mix of uh, exhibition topics. Mm -hmm. um, now, we, I have this question because you already mentioned that the bright range of products. Do you by any chance also develop some kind of batteries? Yes, the lithium. We, we are developing lithium iron phosphate batteries. And the reason for starting that be, that department is because, like, we are dealing with electric vehicles the last ten years, okay. uh, and we are doing also the after sale servicing on the, on those vehicles. So we decided that since we are uh, working on batteries, different kind of batteries, uh, it's a good opportunity to mix up like fuel cells with uh, lithium batteries and try to to, to increase our market share uh, in European Union. Okay. At this point, is there a question from the audience? You do have an expert here combining batteries also with a fuel cell system. Okay. okay. Um, which other projects are you currently involved in? Uh, so far, we have uh, accomplished, we have finished like 10 European and national projects. Uh, at the moment, we have two projects which are ongoing. One of them has to do with uh, robotic and GPS systems. And we have installed three f fuel cell hybrid uh, power generators. And then uh, that project will finalize the end of July. And, and the second project is an electric hybrid uh, minivan uh, for 14 seats. Uh, on this minivan, we are using lithium, phosphate, lithium iron phosphate batteries plus hydrogen fuel cell system. So, so other than that, how do you, what do you think about the future of Tropical? Uh, as I told you before, we now with the investment that took place, uh, we will look to be, we will try to be more aggressive on the market. We will try. To, to set up a, a larger um, production facility. Uh, now, we believe that for the following 
for the two following years, we are we are capable of producing uh, our systems on the production facility that we already have. But depending on the market share, obviously we are looking on increasing of getting our production facility larger. That is fantastic. Now, I've been to your booth already, but the, the audience has not been there yet. And what, what can the audience expect, expect when they visit your booth? Okay, we have, as, uh, as I said before, we have like the two systems, the TB1000 portable fuel cell power generator. Uh, and we also have the, the, the TB1000 fuel cell power generator for education purposes, which is actually the transparent box that I said, where somebody can see like the touchscreen monitor with uh, all the parameters that can be changed or stored. It ha also has like a Ethernet port where you can do like remote monitoring. Uh, you can also see the DC DC converters and the uh, and the inverters that we are designing and we are manufacturing on, at our premises, and also see generally what is the um, the wiring and the connection between the peripherals and the sub co components with the fuel cell stack. Okay, okay. So that is really interesting, and I also saw this something that is really big at your booth, uh, and it's transparent, right? Yeah, what? that's that, that, that's the educational fuel cell power generators I told you before. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, that is designed especially for universities and research institutes. It's uh, for laboratories where students can do their tests mm -hmm. and professors can explain clearly what is inside and what the students can, s uh, can f and what the students uh, can design. Okay, so you have the chance this fair to visit the booth and then uh, have a professor explaining you to the students uh, what the technology is actually doing. Unfortunately, the time is already over. It's always so short on stage, but I highly recommend visiting the booth. I've been already there and it was fun to talk to George Kaplanis. Um, you can visit him and uh, discuss for further. Yes. Okay, other than that, I thank you for this wonderful conversation here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.